is Victor. Papa says Victor means the winner. But I feel more like a loser. Mama and Papa, my sister Teresa and I moved to this country two years ago. America is wonderful, but I miss Mexico. Andale, Victor, que se hace tarde. Vamos, Victor, que esto es tarde para trabajar. ¿Qué pasó, Victor? ¿Qué no dormiste bien? ¿Malos sueños otra vez? No, mamá. No sueños. No bad dreams. I just couldn't sleep. Come un buen desayuno, Victor. A man needs strength to do his best all day. Victor, I get two up to My sister Teresa is in the second grade. Mama, and she likes school. She even likes to stay after school and help the teacher clean up. Victor, you wait for Teresa after school, huh? But wait till she gets older in the fifth grade, like me. Mama and Papa don't understand how it is in school. At home, we speak mostly Spanish. But at school, all they speak is English. I live in two worlds. Come on, Victor! Andale, que te hace tarde. The teacher, Miss Dugan, speaks so quickly. English sounds funny when I hear it fast. I only understand some of what Miss Dugan says. Now, why do you think we call George Washington the father of our country? Victor? Uh, because he built the boat, the Mayflower, <laughs> and then he built Noah's Ark, too. Oh, that's enough. Now, Victor, please try and pay more attention. Justin, School's like a race, and I'm always far life. behind the other kids. Slimmered onto the... Um, and when I look on someone magnolias. else's paper to see what we're supposed to do, I get in trouble. Uh, Victor, copying from someone else's paper is cheating. If you don't do your own work, I'll have to make you sit apart from the others. Uh, now, where was I? Now, be sure you give this invitation to your parents for parents' night. I look forward to meeting Miss Dugan can't talk with my mother because Mama speaks no English. When someone speaks English to Mama, she gets very quiet. Even when she understands, she won't talk back. The other kids' parents will come and see the decorated schoolroom and be proud, but not my parents. And I really want to meet her. Mamá, voy a ir a Colombia en México. Qué bueno. ¿Que tuviera un buen día en la escuela? Sí, mamá. Cierra la voz. Mmm, es ok. Bueno, ahí tengo un chocolatico. Vamos a tomar chocolate. Home smells so good. Mama always has a special treat for us when we come home from school. I love to be in the kitchen. At home is one life. And school is another. Victor, pórtese bien en la escuela, mijo. Pa usted la escuela está buena. Aprenderá a hablar inglés y será un hombre grande. Mama always tells me to do good in school and learn to speak English, so I'll grow up to be educated, maybe even rich. But how am I supposed to be smart in school when Mama doesn't even know any English? How? She doesn't understand how it is here in America. Gamma told me your class is having a parents' night. Did you bring home the invitation? No, I lost it. Hey, Victor, come on and play. Hurry up. Come on, we're going to go play ball. Victor, ¿qué pasó con la tarea? No, I don't got any homework to do. And you couldn't read it anyway. Come on, guys, let's go. Yeah, come on, let's go. Hey, come on. You guys go on. I don't want to play. All right, man. Come on. Victor, ¿qué está despierto?
cierto? So, Mama, I'm so sorry I talked back to you. Victor, ¿qué usted se avergüenza de mí? Pues de la manera en que yo me he visto. Pues porque no hablo inglés. No, Mama, no tengo vergüenza de ti. And I love you. Te quiero mucho. I wish we can speak mass in class in casa, mamá. The whole family should speak more in class. So you can learn, mamá. When mamá asked me if I'm ashamed of her, I tell her no, but still, maybe it's true. I am ashamed, but I can never tell Mama and hurt her feelings. Burrito today, lots of beans. Yeah! 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 I was helping his sister pick up her lunch, and he hit me. Victor, what's your side of the story? My father always says, Los hombres no lloran. A man keeps his mouth shut. A man doesn't tell anyone, even on his enemies. Victor, if you don't say anything, I'm going to have to believe Carl's right. Shake hands now, both of you, right now. I just wonder what she had for lunch, that's all. Victor, you leave me no choice. You get two weeks' detention. Carl, you get three days. I want you to both see Miss Dugan after school. Okay, let's go. Come on. My God. Two weeks. I know. Two weeks. Two weeks. I know. Two weeks. Two weeks. And you whipped. My father tells me it's right to fight for my sister if I have to. But at school, they don't understand, and I get into trouble. One thing is right at home, and a different thing is right at school. Sometimes I just don't know the right thing to do at all. All right, boys, detention is over for today. See you again tomorrow. Victor, it's a shame you're having so much trouble in school. I think you're a good boy, and I really believe you want to be a good student. Don't you think you could do a lot better, I mean, if you really made up your mind to it? It's so hard to think fast in English. It takes so long to say things, and I get mixed up. Well, it's true. In order to do well in school, you're going to have to work harder in English. But I think you can do it. Bye, Miss Dugan. Bye, Victor. Jose, ¿quieres café? Sí, dale. T-H-E-R-E and T-H-E-I-R? Well, C 
siento, Víctor. No sé. That mixes me up too. When you learn, you can teach me, eh? so beautiful. It almost feels like we're back in Mexico. I hope you go back to visit someday. No, no, not me. I don't belong in Mexico. And I don't belong here either. Espera, mija. Mijo, voy a necesitar su ayuda con mi nuevo horario. Este mañana, yo no estaré aquí cuando ustedes regresen de la escuela. You won't be home after school anymore. Okay, no. Bueno, pues porque tengo cierto trabajo que hacer en las tardes. Mamá dice que she won't be home in the afternoons anymore when we get back from school. No puede irse a jugar por ahí. ¿Está bien? Sí, mamá. Y bueno, ya es hora de dormir. Vamos, Teresa. She's taking on some new kind of work. And I have to babysit for Teresa. Victor, a dormir. No more special surprises after school. In both of my worlds, nothing is going right. I wish I knew how to make things better. Victor, your detention was over 10 minutes ago. Your two weeks are finally over, so don't get into any more fights, okay? Um, uh, Stugan, I need more detention. What? No, it wasn't no fights. It was just that my sister, she stays after school too, to help her teacher clean up. And the detention is quiet, and I could study more better here. It's certainly been nice seeing you get your assignments in on time for a change, Victor. Oh, yeah, yeah, see? I like it here. I need more detention. <laughs> All right. You can stay after class if you like. You know, maybe that way I could give you some extra help with your reading. What do you say? Oh, yeah. I say okay. Victor, I'll make you a deal. If you're willing to work extra hard and improve your English, I'll work extra hard, too, and improve my Spanish. A deal? Deal. With Miss Stevens' help after school, I started getting C's on my papers. And sometimes even B's. It's hard, but when I can really understand what the class is doing, I like school. At home, Mama is gone after school every day. I can tell Papa doesn't like her being away either. But he never gets mad about it. She's away doing some sort of new work. But she doesn't talk about it when she gets home. Everything okay? I don't like only staying inside with Teresa. She can be a baby sometimes. But sometimes we have fun. Victor, come on and play. Hurry up. Go, come on. I can't. I got a babysit for Teresa. Okay. See ya. Many, many weeks are passing by. I miss Mama. Say, what do you want? I want to ask you a question. How come whenever you get into trouble, you never speak up to defend yourself? Los hombres no lloran. What? Men don't tell on each other. Even if they don't like each other, our fight is between us. But you could have stayed out of trouble. In Mexico, men don't tell. Never? Never. A 
our Sunday picnics at home are fun. It's good to be together with family and other people who come from Mexico too. Papa likes us to hear stories about Mexican history and Mexican customs. Grown-ups talk about heroes like Porfirio Diaz. It makes me feel very proud to be from Mexico. Soon Christmas is coming, and every year Mama makes a special Christmas piñata. I love the piñata game. We break it open Christmas morning with a stick and get all the good candies inside. All right, class, put away your social studies book. Now, these are the invitations for our next parents' night. It's going to be held just before our winter break, and the room is going to be all decorated for the holidays, so it's going to look very nice. So make sure your parents can come. Now, this time I've written the invitation in both Spanish and English. Victor, I hope your parents can make it. I'd like very much to meet them. This time, I want to invite Mama and Papa. Else but will they come? They might just be embarrassed. And Mama would get very quiet around all the people speaking English. I've picked some students who have most improved in their work lately to give special presentations on Parents' Night. We're going to hear about different Hanukkah and Christmas traditions throughout the world. Morgan, let's hear about different Hanukkah customs. And Jocelyn, I'd like you to tell the parents about Christmas in Japan. And Victor. Las Posadas in Mexico. Uh -huh. It's an honor to be chosen to tell all the parents about Las Posadas at Parents' Night. But I'll have to work extra hard to get ready. At dinner, Papa says he'll be working nights for a while at the cannery. Every worker has to take their turn. But I'm not really listening. Should I give the invitation to Mama? She might just get embarrassed at school. Or someone might make fun of the different ways she dresses. But I don't care what other people think of Mama. Mama, I have something for you. I really, really want her to come to Parents' Night. It's hard work getting my presentation ready for Parents' Night. I want my English to be just right. But will Mama and Papa be there to hear me and be proud of me? I don't know. Victor, you know I have to work nights now. Lo siento, but I just won't be able to go to your Parents' Night in the school. Victor, Mama can't come either. She doesn't drive and she doesn't want to be there alone. A solas. Entiendes? Oh, sure. Sure, I do. Mijo, yo hice una piñata para que la lleve a los niños de la escuela como parte de presentación de las posadas. They're not coming. Mama says I can have a Christmas piñata to share with all the people at Parents' Night. Deja, deja lo que estudie. But Mama and Papa won't be there. Mama won't hear my story about Las Posadas. 
I try to understand, but it hurts. We'll give you a ride to Paris tonight, Victor. You can come with us. Thanks, Guillermo. Maybe your mom can come next time. I don't think so. I don't think Mama will ever come to school. Hey, Victor, don't you know yet? In America, we play baseball. You know, bat ball. <laughs> It'll take you a couple more years to learn. <laughs> Just leave him alone. Come on, Victor, hit the ball -y. Hey, guys, you need to try it. This ought to be good. Yeah. <laughs> No way, no way, no way. You go two inches in front of him. Holy cow! Oh, yeah! In Mexico, we play baseball, too. But I like soccer best. Tonight is parents' night. I wish I could be excited, but I'm not. Everybody's here. We'll start in a few minutes, okay? Are you almost ready? I guess so. The kids are excited about your piñata. Yeah, good luck. in her Sunday dress. But never, never has she looked so beautiful. Mr. and Mrs. Rojas, I'm so glad you could come. This is a special night for Victor. Papa, I thought you had to work tonight. This is más importante, Victor. This is more important. Buenas noches, senora. Mucho gusto de conocerla. How you do, Miss Dugan? Victor tells me much about you. My mama? My mama speak in English? He wants us to meet. He wants school to be good. And I want him to learn and be happy. Mrs. Rojas, let me show you one of Victor's papers over here. Come, come this way. That was Mama's work for all this week, Victor. She learned to speak in English for a surprise for you. Here, right here, the map. That was my book? Yes, it's Victor's. Victor, now Mama can read our homework. As you can see. Mama and Miss Dugan talk about how my schoolwork is improving. And they talk about it in English together. It's like I'm hearing music. And on the night night of Posadas, Christmas Eve is when the innkeepers finally open the doors for travelers and pilgrims. The image of the Christ child is laid in the manger in the Nacimiento. Afterwards, there's a party with fun and fireworks. But the most exciting moment of all is when the ninos, the children, is the breaking of the beautifully decorated piñata. It is a special time of togetherness in Mexico of families and friends. Oil enough for 
for one night, the light lasted eight nights. This is a menorah. It is a symbol of freedom, light, and truth. On the first night, we light one candle. Each night, we light one more to remember the miraculous eight nights. I feel like both parts of my life have come together at last. My two worlds are now one. Today, I do feel like a winner.